Ah, gross point blank. The movie that asked the question, what if after graduation, you joined the army, then the CIA, became a hitman, and then decided to go back home to your 10-year high school reunion? Should I go to the reunion? Yes, yes, get out of town. Thank you. Go see some old friends. Have some punch. Visit with what's her name? Debbie. Debbie. Don't kill anybody for a few days. See what it feels like. I'll give it a shot. No, no, don't give it a shot. Don't shoot anything. Gross Point Blank is a whip-smart black comedy that does a great job of balancing the comedy and the violence. And that soundtrack, my God, easily top 10 all time. It came out in 1997 and stars John Cusack back when he could do no wrong, as well as Minnie Driver and Dan Aykroyd back when he still made big budget Hollywood movies. But there's one scene in this movie I always found odd. Wait, was that a Doom 2 arcade machine? Yep, it sure is. One of the most iconic PC games of all time in an arcade cabinet. So what's the story behind this? So back in 1997 when this movie came out, you couldn't just get on a computer and go to Google and start fact checking. I mean, we did have computers and the internet, but Google wasn't invented yet. But a number of years later, I watched the movie again, and I remembered that scene, and for the life of me, I just couldn't understand why they decided to feature a predominantly PC-based shooter like Doom 2 versus other arcade shooters at the time like Virtual Cop 2, Time Crisis, and House of the Dead for that particular scene. So basically, I did what anybody else would do. I went to Google, typed in Doom 2 Arcade, and surprisingly, didn't get a whole lot of info other than a few posts on Reddit, ArcadeMuseum.com, and DoomWorld.com. According to ArcadeMuseum.com, its software released only one different machine in our database under this trade name. The game only existed as a movie prop in the movie Gross Point Blank and was never released in arcade form. It goes on to say that although several people have reported seeing this cab in an arcade, it's likely these were custom builds utilizing PCs after seeing one in the movie. Over at DoomWorld.com, some people suggested that the reason Doom 2 was chosen was that the filmmakers were making fun of the fact that people playing these games are oblivious to what's happening around them, while others speculated on how a game like Doom 2 that is traditionally played with a keyboard and mouse could even be played like shown in the movie with an arcade stick and buttons. This person explains how Doom 2 would work rather well from a playability standpoint in an arcade environment with a joystick and buttons. The joystick would handle movement, and only three buttons would be needed for fire, opening doors, and running. The biggest hurdle to overcome in an arcade environment would be a lack of scoring system, which was removed from Doom to make it less arcadey. Most people suggested that maybe a time limit could be used to complete a level so it wasn't finished fast enough, then more quarters would just be added. But since no known units have ever surfaced, and there's no information out there suggesting what happened to that cabinet after filming wrapped, we may never know. So obviously this thing existed. I mean, we clearly see it in this scene. But is this kid actually playing it? Well, I don't think so. I think it was a generic cabinet wrap with Doom 2 graphics, and inside was a video monitor that was just looping Doom 2 gameplay while the actor just frantically whacked at the joystick and buttons. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? All right, guys, so there you go. I mean, yeah, th this cabinet, I guess, did exist, obviously, for the purposes of the movie. But whether there was more out there, I, I seriously doubt it. I think this was a one-off that was made. And uh, unfortunately, there was no commentary track on the versions of the movie that I have. And uh, we'll never really get the explanation of why the director chose to use that game. I mean, maybe he was a fan of it. Um, you know, Doom 2 came out in 94, the movie was in 97, so it's not really like they were promoting that game three years later. Um, it may just be the fact that Doom was just so popular, and uh, maybe it kind of mirrored that scene in that convenience store. It's really hard to say. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you have any more information on this Doom 2 arcade cabinet, uh, I'd love to hear it. Let me know in the comments section. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up on the way out and turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload videos like this one.
All right, I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. So you look good, you seem good. Thank you, you may have uh... 10 years, man, 10. Where have you been for 10 years? I freaked out, joined the army, went into business for myself, I'm a professional killer. Oh, does that, do you have to do postgraduate work for that or can you, can you jump right in? I'm, I'm curious about that. No, it's an open market. Open market, yeah. that's good, wow.